Welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 51170 Spectrum Brake Control. A vehicle-specific brake control wiring harness is also required to operate the brake control. These instructions will show the general steps needed to install onto any truck application, but it is being demonstrated on a 2017 Ford F-150. Begin by disconnecting the negative battery cable to ensure your safety and the safety of your vehicle's electrical system. Next, determine a suitable mounting location for the rotary knob. We recommend a solid surface that can be easily reached by the driver. This location will vary depending on the vehicle. There are two options for mounting the LED rotary knob. To complete a stick-on installation, place the included double-sided tape onto the back side of the knob. Then stick the knob onto the dashboard in your chosen location. Be sure that the LEDs are faced in the upward direction. To complete a drill mount installation, begin by removing the base plate from the back of the rotary knob. Hold the included drill mount base plate over the selected mounting location. Mark this position through the two holes. If possible, remove the section of the dashboard that will be drilled into. Using a 5 16 inch bit, drill out the marked locations. If the mounting location is not able to be removed from the vehicle, Proceed carefully, being mindful of what you are drilling into and what is behind it. Position the base plate over the drilled holes and secure with the provided well nut and button head screw. Next, feed the cable of the knob through the remaining hole. Insert the rotary knob onto the base plate in an upright position and press down until it clicks into place. Next, connect the rotary knob wiring to the included quick plug. To do this, insert the terminals into the connector with the folded metal crimp facing upward. For the correct wiring locations, refer to the diagram in the included instruction sheet. As each terminal is fully inserted, it will click into place and the terminal will not pull out. When all six terminals are installed and fully seated, close and latch the locking mechanism. Next, prepare the main module to be mounted. To do this, place the included double-sided tape onto the back side of the main module. To set the manual control output and brake light switches, refer to the diagram in the included instructions. Most trucks and utility vehicles are equipped with a plug from the factory that allows for quick brake control installation. Check the Curt Brake Controller Application Guide for plug availability, location, and installation. If a section of the dashboard was removed for drilling, reinstall at this time. Route the cable behind the dashboard from the knob to the main module location. Determine a suitable location for the main module. We recommend a solid surface under the dashboard that can be easily reached by the rotary knob wire. Secure to the chosen location with the included double-sided tape. Connect the plug from the rotary knob into the main module. Connect the main module wiring into the pigtail harness or vehicle-specific quick plug. Tuck any wire excess up underneath the dash away from the gas and brake pedals. To complete the installation, reconnect the negative battery cable. This completes the installation of the Kurt 51170 Spectrum Brake Control. Before you tow, you must read and understand the user manual to properly use the brake control. Thank you for watching this video. Now you have the power to bring it.